Hey folks, it's Jeremy here again to talk about another new feature in Netbox version 3.3, and that's the ability to model half-height U devices. Take a look at this switch on the, on the screen here. This is a Cisco Catalyst 3750. It's one of the most popular series of network switches probably ever made, um, but it looks a little bit weird. Um, do you know what's different about it? Here's another 3750. Uh, you'll notice that this one looks a little bit more like the form factor we're used to. That's because it's a 1U high switch. This other one is a 1.5U high switch. That means it, when installed in the rack, it's actually consuming one and a half rack units. So if you put two of them together, it's they're using three. Um, various reasons for why this switch came to be. It's obviously not ideal because it makes it very difficult to manage rack space. But um, and up until Netbox version 3.3, we didn't have a great way to, to model these. You would basically have to pretend that it was 2U high. Uh, thanks to Netbox version 3.3 now, we don't have to do that anymore. Uh, this is actually one of our oldest feature requests. I think it was opened um, the day or the same week that Netbox went open source over six years ago. Finally got around to implementing it. Uh, and this is the ability to model devices, or device types rather, in uh, increments of half a U. So you can actually have a 0.5 U device, you can have a 1.5 U device, and so on. So I'm going to run through an example of how that works today. Uh, first, we need to create our device type. Uh, so I'm going to go over here to the Netbox device type library, and that's available on GitHub. And I've already actually created a definition for this, or rather actually someone else created it. I've updated it with the uh, the new U height to be more accurate. Um, so I'm going to copy this into my Netbox installation, uh, just so I have, it saves me the trouble of having to go through and define all of these. So I'm going to go over to device types, and go to add, or rather, sorry, I'm going to go to import, uh, dump that data in there. And it just takes a second that automatically creates all my interfaces and everything. And we see the height now is 1.5 U or 1.5 rack units. So now I'm going to go over here to a rack that I've created. It's just a typical 42 U um, high 19 inch wide equipment rack. And I'm going to install uh, a device. I'm going to instantiate this device type and I'm just going to call it, I'm going to give it a name. Uh, so let's put that in unit 20. Let's say this, it's going to go in the middle of the rack roughly. Uh, and I'm going to call this, um, I actually have something called switch one already because of the other demo that I was doing. I'm going to call it switch three. Uh, we're going to make it an access switch. And down here we find Cisco. And then we go find our type that we just created. And that's the Catalyst 3750G-24TS-S. Uh, and there's actually a different revision of this, which I think ends in like 1U or something like that because they basically found a way to squish that chassis down and fit everything in 1U of space. Um, but if you're stuck with one of the older big ones, you can now model it accurately in Netbox 3.3, as we'll show. All right, so we've got the assigned to rack one, unit 20. Uh, everything else should be fine. So we'll go ahead and create that. And now let's check out what that rack looks like. There you go. So you can actually see, you might have to squint, but this switch is actually consuming all of U20 as well as the bottom half of unit 21. So now we have proper 1.5U devices uh, modeled in, and this is the, the SVG image that illustrates the rack elevation, both the front and rear. Um, let's add a second one to better illustrate how, that ha um, how, how we can show two 1.5U devices. Uh, so let's click uh, on U21, the bit of it that we can get to. So I'm gonna create switch four. I'm gonna give it the same, uh, same attributes and all that, same device type. Uh, now down here at the position, you'll see that it defaults to 21. That's not going to work because U21 is already partially um, partially occupied by the other device that we just put in there, by switch 3. So I'm actually going to scroll down and find U21.5. So I'm going to mount that at 21.5, so it's offset by 0.5 U. All right, so let me create that. And if we go back to our rack and now you can see both of them modeled in there so we're actually consuming across the two U's. Um, excuse me uh, across both devices they are consuming three rack units of vertical space so granted it's not that impressive okay you made the boxes slightly bigger but it's now a way to accurately model if you happen to be stuck with you know 0.5 u or 1.5 u devices um, the same concept applies if you just have one of like the very slim panels or, or something like that that only consumes half of a rack unit. You can install two of those, they consume a single rack unit, 
um, and everything you know, works as you'd expect it to. So uh, that's it for now. There's a bunch of other cool stuff to check out in Netbox version 3.3 if you haven't already. Uh, we've got the public demo available at demo.netbox.dev. So be sure to check that out and um, I'll see you next time.